everyone and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Agile certification. We are in chapter 3 and looking at 3.4 tools in Agile projects. The next topic in this tutorial chapter is 3.4.4 that's configuration management tools. Let's understand something more about the same. When you talk about configuration management tools, let's recall quickly that what exactly configuration management stands for, which is basically to control the versions. When you talk about configuration management, it is also known as version control, where version control generally means managing the history of revisions over any entity. So unlike any other process, it could be possibly the same thing that as you work with uh, any of the process in fact, not only Agile, you work with traditional approaches as well. We have a lot of revisions done on any other entity like requirement, test cases, test report, defects, and many more things. So as we do a change, as we do a revision on any particular documentation, any particular report, we create a new version of it. As we create a new version, it has to be mapped with the previous to the new one. Thus, we call that process of managing the history of revision as configuration management. And we also have tools to do the same job because sometimes the documentation may be frequently revised or frequently updated and that could be another possible hectic uh, work to be done within the process especially when you talk about Agile because Agile doesn't have enough time to entertain such hectic activities so we can make use of configuration management tools where these tools uh, may be used not only to store source code even the automated test, manual test, and other test work products. So it's not limited to requirements only or test cases. Even the codes could be updated time to time depending on the defects, uh, defects identified or some kind of issues which are being rectified by changing the code or maybe change in the requirements could be another possible reason to do the same. This provides traceability between which version of the software were tested with particular version of the test and allows for rapid change without losing historical information which means that especially when you have written a certain code and you prepared uh, test cases for the same and you have executed your test cases but later point of time your code got updated with additional lines of code then you need to add some more additional test cases to cover those changes and that could be easily mapped or traceable with help of version management or configuration management. The main types of version control system include centralized source control system and distributed version control system. So you may find a lot of in-house or maybe commercial tools to do the same job which can manage the version which would have the option of check-in and check-out where you check out, make the changes and check in the code back. The team size, structure, location and requirements to integrate with other tools will determine which version control system is right for a particular agile project. It depends on what kind of team do you have. So we do have tools for uh, you know local use, international use, or like you and your team is distributed in a geographical manner could be useful in that case. So altogether, we do have a lot of configuration management tools that would help you to manage your versions within the projects. So should you need anything else, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to assist you more in more detail about the same. So till then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep understanding. Thanks for watching the video team. Happy learning.